Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In the last video, we discussed about the controller, how you can create it and how you can call the execute method and show this hello world text in the front end. In this video, we will create one layout XML so that it helps you uh, to generate this header, footer and some content here. Okay. So how you can do that? Go to your Magento root directory, app, code, web dev hello world this is the module which we created previously so in this hello world module directory you have to create one folder called view so all the front end related changes you will find in the view folder okay so inside of that you have to create this front end if you are generating the front end content you have to create front end otherwise you have to create admin html for admin right now i'm just uh, creating layout for the front end so that's why i have to put the layout in the front end okay inside of this front end you create one layout folder so inside of this layout folder you have to create this layout file so how to identify this uh, layout and what is the relation between uh, this url and this one okay this layout so you see here i have just created hello world index index that means whatever the url you are entering the same path you have to create for this layout xml okay so how it relates to this uh, url path with this layout uh, xml file name so here you see the, the layout file name it's like hello world index index that means front name underscore controller path underscore action class which we discussed in the previous video right so you just separate that with the underscore okay so whatever the front root you have created the same you have to generate for the layout file name so this is how you can name the layout xml just open this file i will show you some content which uh, you need to add for the new page so you see here i just want to create a new page so that's why you have to create this uh, page tag here okay so instead of this page you have to add the reference container instead of this reference container you have to add the block where you will uh, where you will add the page html here so I will discuss the PHTML and block in the next video. Just uh, focus on these things. Okay, reference container and block. So uh, here what I am doing, uh, I am just uh, calling this block inside of this reference container with the help of this uh, PHTML, the template. So in the previous video, we discussed about these uh, reference containers and blocks, how you can add in the layout XML. Okay, you have to build one PHP class uh, for this block. You can put some name for this block as an identifier. And if you want to create any static content or if you want to create any forms, you can put with the help of this template. Okay. So this is how you can create a layout XML. In the next video, we'll discuss about how you can add the block class and the uh, template here. So with the help of this template, uh, you'll call this block and uh, generate some content. Okay. So that the customer can view that content and uh, decide whether he wants to purchase or uh, he can see the information which you provided in this template. Okay, thanks for watching.